of San Diego State. Being in San Diego is never a bad thing, and it's even better when you have a matchup like this one. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic class. As we'll see a squad from the Pac-12, the Washington State Cougars, taking on a team who is rested and ready, coming off a bye, the San Diego State Aztecs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one. Washington State ready to kick off as it's time to get things started. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So San Diego State's offense is on the field for the first time today. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are, and they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. The Aztecs want to pick up the tempo. Oh, man, did he turn that one loose and fired it into the teeth of the zone. And you know as a quarterback, Reese, when you're throwing it to the perimeter of the field on these curl routes, you've got to have some heat. You've got to have arm talent to get that ball out quickly into the hands of your receiver before all those defenders can get to it. Man, this cube has got a Right back to it. At the 45 on its way. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. And the Aztecs are moving quickly down the field. And already this guy is leaving his mark on this game. Opening drive, back-to-back -back runs, where he's found a way to get positive yards. He was able to pick up the first on that last carry. They should keep feeding him the football. The more success they have, it's going to open up the play-action game. Dropping back, it's Duffy. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Pulls it in. It's Tanner. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. They'll try the right side. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Aztecs! The offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TV. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 7-0. So it's an 80-yard drive. And the scoring play came on the 12-yard run. San Diego State, 7. Washington State, 0. On the run from inside his own 5. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. So Washington State's offense headed on to the field. Our first look at them today. A first down for the offense. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Taking a shot on the first play. Reels it in and goes out of bounds on the left side after the huge game. After that huge play, they've now got it inside the 30. It's first and 10. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Got his man on the right. 
They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. The Cougars headed quickly to the line. Brings up second down. They'll put the tight end in motion. Now the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. Touchdown, Cougars! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy. The connection between quarterback, wide receiver, you can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. He'll try to tack on one more. Right down the boulevard. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. He'll bring it out. It's Brown. Stopped at the 29, but found a little running room after coming out of the end zone. Guys, let's see what adjustments this San Diego State offense has made this time. They'll run it from the gun. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They'll run play action. Right down the middle. Makes the grab. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. Love to see the fearlessness of a quarterback to work the middle of the field. And he's got so much confidence in his own arm talent to be able to get that football there before the defense can break it up. Running back searching for a hole. Oh, look out. There he goes. He's run out of bounds after the big game, and they are in business first and goal. Quarterback will keep it. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Now it's second and goal. Dropping back, it's Duffy. He wants it all. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. Third and goal where you separate the wheat from the chaff. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. And that's a great job by this defense. You don't care about yards anymore. Yards are arbitrary. Let them drive down the field, so be it. You want to keep touchdowns off the board, and they might have just done that with a sack right there. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal, and he'll kick for the three from 36 yards out in the right hash. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Top 15 teams colliding today with major ramifications across the college football landscape. Ohio State is trailing right now, but it's only a couple of points. That quarterback just needs to show the poise of a young Troy Smith, and they're right back in this. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Nebraska. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Blast it as he lets it go. Pulls it, fired complete. Nothing but green grass down the middle. Pass to 10. Touchdown, Cougar! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. Number eight. Quick strike, touchdown, comes out and jump starts the offense. And man, we see this in college football, so much explosiveness and firepower, and we get high scoring game after high scoring game, and it looks like we're on pace for one of those right now.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. So see quarterback, one snap, put it in the end zone. San Diego State, 10. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. San Diego State takes over as the offense is ready to go to work. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. The Aztecs come to the line in the hurry up. Scanning the field, it's Duffy trying to get to him. Trying to make magic with his feet. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. And the Aztecs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. This quarterback doing a lot of good decision making on that last play. First off, nice job extending, but then understanding what the coverage was, understanding nobody's open, and then going, hey, look, I can go get this myself, and finally, not only am I going to get this first down, I'm going to take care of myself, too. I'm going to slide. I practiced this all week. A little baseball slide action. We got a fresh set of downs. They'll go back to the ground. Relying on that running game, and it works for about three yards to the 31. Got three on first down at second and seven. Might as well stick with him. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. The Aztecs have pushed it inside the 20. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Going to the running game. Brought down at the seven after picking up three. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can't pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. They'll try to get it through the air. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, San Diego State! One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. And we're taking shots. We need to be able to step up and make tough catches. And David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down, when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Washington State has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. The quick out. QB, excellent location on that throw. Out route against man coverage, you cannot miss. If you throw that behind, that might be a pick six. So nice job by the quarterback with his accuracy. The give to the tailback. Cross the 30 out to the 33 and gains four on the play. Washington State lines up quickly. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. And the Cougars get it past the sticks. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. With the catch, it's Maxwell. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Second down. 
gets it out quickly. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Feeling some heat. He's going to run it. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Washington State sends out the punt unit. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. And the punt will hit at the 7, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Give to the running back. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's got him in the flat. Smashes through the tackle. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air. Chunk play after chunk play, and here they come again. Back to pass. It's Duffy. Flips it out in the flat. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. No huddle here for the offense. Love the awareness by the defense here. They're trying to get the running back the ball in space, but the defense was expecting it. They had guys in position. They located the football, and they went and game tackled. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. He's looking downfield to throw. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. And the Aztecs will line up to punt it away. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the big fella. Defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long gains. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. Pulls it in. It's Maxwell. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. When well, you get man-to-man -man coverage and you're running that curl, I got to sell him deep. I got to get a little bit of space where I can make him think, I'm running deep, running deep, and then I sit down real quick. QB, wide receiver on the same page, first down. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion, and the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. Caught in the backfield. It's Hernandez. They get him down after he makes the catch. Washington State going quickly. On third and short, just trying to get enough for the first down. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Washington State has it all working right now. I think to be a good third down offense, guys, you've got to be able to run the football. You're going to come upon these third and short situations multiple times throughout the course of the year, but you've got to be able to get push up front, and it helps when you have a talent like that to turn around and hand the football off to you. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Defense trying to come up with a stop on third and short from the 37. They'll try to run for it. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. We have the early makings of a quarterback duel, as these stats will show you.
Moving in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. No, oh, no good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. The Aztecs offense ready to go back to work. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David. Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. And he's got it inside the 20. What a play to get it inside the red zone. And they are set up at the 17. They go to the ground. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. To the air. It's Duffy. They're trying to get to him. And the rush will get to him at the 25. All right, this quarterback is going to have to start playing with a clock going off in his head. He knows he cannot hold on to the football too long with players like that getting after him. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Coming after it. And here's a fumble way behind the line. How about that alert play from the defense to corral that fumble? And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And that's why you got to avoid third and long situations if you're on offense because the defense knows it's pass and all these guys are pinning their ears back they're getting up field and you're under so much duress on top of that you give up a fumble that is a huge play for the defense Here comes the Wazoo offense onto the field again. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. Wide out in motion. From the gun, running back on the move. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop it. Washington State lines up quickly. On second down, he'll let it fly. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. And the defense there goes zone coverage, maybe confused the quarterback a little bit, forced him to hold on to the football, and that allowed the pass rush to get home. Washington State sends the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 20. Guys, we're about to get another look at this San Diego State offense. That last drive and the turnover, not what you're looking for when you have the lead, Jesse. Yeah, and really, I think for them, it's just staying out of their own way. They're making plays. They've got the playmakers to go and win this game, so it's just a matter of executing better. Yeah, executing better, understanding I still got the lead. Put a drive together here and build on that lead. Got his man out of the backfield. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. 
they'll try to get the first through the air. Really good job there. Got through the progressions. One, two, three, check down. Take what you can. Yeah, don't waste time. You know, once you go through your progressions, get the football out, let them make plays. A lot of quarterbacks want to scramble or really pat the football over and over again. Nice job. Get it out. Get some positive yards. Go to the next down. It's incomplete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Quarterback on the keeper. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. The Aztecs have their offense in high gear. Looking to go up top on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Tanner. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. Well, this defense is being challenged, and the secondary in particular. And I know a DB made the tackle there, but we're only in the second quarter. And already, this quarterback has over 200 yards passing. Complete downfield. That's where they'll mark him a very productive play and a first down. And the Aztecs come to the line with a new set of downs. From the red zone, looking for a man. It's complete! And he will score! Touchdown, Aztecs! Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, gigantic implications in this top 15 battle today. And check out what's going down. Ohio State is getting handled right now at home. Someone needs to step in here and throw in the towel. Stop this fight. They're trailing by 14 to Nebraska. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Gets it across the 30 to the 31. A pickup of five. Brings up second down. He's looking for a man on second down. Caught in the backfield, it's Maxwell. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Washington State going quickly. Third down play from the gun. Throws to the tight end. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Washington State will have to boot it away. On the return, it's Brown. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. This drive will get underway from just inside the 35 at their own 34, looking for a physical attack from the gun. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. He's got it again. Turns it on in midfield. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down. He's going to throw deep right side. And he'll make the catch at the 15. They've got this defense reeling after that last play. Now it's first and 10 inside the 15. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback bought a little time, but actually bought a lot of time, but not enough time. The defense gets to it. Brings up second down. Looking to pass. It's Duffy. Quick strike complete. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. 
Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Pike, and the ball is out. Who's going to get it? Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. You know, as quarterbacks, you've got to be good in the pocket. Even when things are collapsing and you've got guys swiping at it, you've got to have two hands on the football. Didn't do a really good job with ball security there, and that led to the fumble. Washington State has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. He'll start this drive firing. Takes the easy throw in the flat. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. You know, as a quarterback, you believe in your matchup. And, and my running back, if I can get him the ball in space, he's going to win a lot of times. He didn't that time. The defense was ready. Nice job in the open field making the nice tackle. That'll be a beneficial run as he creates some breathing room and gets it up to the 13-yard line. They're going to go to the air on third and short. Got him downfield. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. The Cougars in the hurry up. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. It's a draw. Breaks the tackle. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. Saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. Quarterback all over the place trying to make a play, but eventually he goes down. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they've built the lead. Washington State sends out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll call for the fair catch here. Guys, let's see what adjustments this San Diego State offense has made this time. This time, they need to take care of the ball and maybe extend this lead, David. And I think you got to look at the positive, Reese. You still got the lead. Now take care of the football. Put a nice drive together, Jesse. You don't have to stress. We're still winning. I feel like they think that player for player, they're the better unit on the field right now. They just got to make more plays. Motion from the offense. They'll ride the hot hand. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. They send four receivers onto the field, two to the right, two to the left on second and six. Out of the gun, the inside give. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Just shy of midfield at the 47. The defense needs a third down stop. To the ground to try to move the chains. Still running at the 40. He's off to the races. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, San Diego State. They've extended the lead and taken control here in week nine. I love the execution on that play. Great blocking up front just to get the ball carrier an opportunity in the second level of the defense. And then at that point, it was make a guy miss and use the speed. That was a perfectly executed play. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 31, Washington State, 14. And he takes this from inside the five. Finds just enough space across the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Here comes the Wazoo offense onto the field again. 
after giving up that score. Now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. Uh, I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? I, I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops here. He puts a lot of pressure on this offense. Washington State lines up quickly. First down for the offense. To the air on first down. Makes his connection. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Second down coming up. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. And you've already set your punter out four times. At least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. You gotta be impressed with this defense early in this game, guys. They've got a big lead because they are getting after the quarterback. They've already generated multiple sacks. They thought coming into this game they could take advantage of this offensive line, and that game plan is working to perfection. Washington State sends the punt team onto the field. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. And they're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. San Diego State takes over as the offense is ready to go to work. Pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Dropping back. It's Duffy. He's looking deep. It's complete. A huge pickup. Just gashing this defense. A big gainer to the 40-yard line. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time. Spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense. Understanding what the defense is giving them and creating the explosive play. It's complete to the right. No chance to run, but they still move it forward. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Wants to fire on second down. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Touchdown, Aztecs! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge, and also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Fellas, here's a quick update on a top 15 clash today. Ohio State is just getting blown off the field right now in Columbus. And at this rate, I'm not sure it won't get worse. They're trailing by 21 to Nebraska. We'll circle back if anything big happens you should know about. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. At the 40, there he goes. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. The Cougars are in the hurry up. Wants to throw on first down. Getting some heat. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. How in the world did the offense retain possession? A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Never has to leave the pocket and fires over the middle. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. Hey, the defense knew coming into this one this guy was going to be a factor, but they have done nothing to stop him. They don't have any answers. This guy already has over 100 yards receiving, and we're not even done the half. 
And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Grabs it in the middle. Breaks a tackle and he's got room. And the catch was one thing and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. We've got a timeout here late in the first half and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. They'll throw it from the red zone. Zings it complete to the right. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. Pressure coming. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. The defense all over that loose ball, and now they're bringing it back. The 50. He's at the 40. The 30. He's at the 20. Touchdown, San Diego State. Don't just get the ball. Score with the ball, and the defense did. And the defense comes with the blitz. Nice job getting to the quarterback. And don't just get there. Try to strip that football out. They get the QB to the ground. The ball's out. They scoop it up. Take it all the way back to the house for six. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, run with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Trying to get to him. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. He lost it high and deep down the left side. Incomplete. He took a shot on the final play of the quarter and couldn't quite find his man. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like a terrific atmosphere there today in San Diego. And it's been a clinic in fundamental defensive football. Both teams have been relentless and ball hawking, refusing to give an inch. This is the kind of slugfest that real football fans love. Crushing tackles and dudes flying into gaps and passing lanes. A testament to the discipline both of these teams have shown. And just like that, let's send it back to the fellas inside Snapdragon Stadium. The Aztecs will line up to kick off and start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner goes down. Washington State has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. Got blown out in the first half, and now just desperate to find anything to generate momentum here in the third quarter. It just starts with one play, though. You just need one thing to go right for this offense to start to build that momentum, and then that becomes infectious for the defense, for special teams. Everything can change. It just takes one play. It really can, and it's so strange, and you can't quantify it. I don't know how to describe it as a coach or as a player, but you got to make something happen, and it's got to start on this drive. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. And it's been a long day. I mean, I, there's not much to point out that this offense has done well. They're behind huge, and they got no shot if they can't somehow find a way to protect their quarterback.
Washington State will have to boot it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. On the move, it's Brown. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. The Aztecs offense ready to go back to work. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's all kinds of running room. Touchdown, Aztecs! And the route is on. And a huge run from the back for six. Man, it's nice to have a running back that can do that. That makes everything else easy on offense. Hey, hand it to that guy. He makes a big play. Yes, please. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. What a way to send a message. Huge play in the running game. One snap, and you've got a touchdown on the board. And he'll bring it back. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Here comes the Wazoo offense onto the field again. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Floats it out in space. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Makes the catch. It's Maxwell. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Still on his feet at the 45. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. And the Cougars come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Feeling some heat. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Man, this defensive end is a monster. I mean, you've seen his athleticism and his speed and his bend and his flexibility. He now has two sacks, and there's still a lot of football to play. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. They try to pop a run on the draw. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. He'll pull it down and run. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. Washington State sends out the punt unit. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. And the punt will hit at the 7, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Leaves it with the back. Running hard and getting 6 yards out to the 26. 6-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with 2nd and 4. He'll keep it himself. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. You got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. They're trying to get to it. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. And if your job is to irritate, to confuse, to hit, to make quarterbacks feel very uncomfortable, this defense is definitely doing their job. Six sacks? That's the way to make the quarterback feel like he's having a hard day. He's had no response. This offensive line has no response. Just a sack party. And the Aztecs line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He opens a sliver of daylight. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. From the gun, the running back looking for room. 
They get him on the ground at the 37, but give him 15 yards on that chunk play, and they'll move the chains. Holds and fires complete to the right. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. On second down, looking to throw. Bought a little time, lets it go. He finds his man. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. They probably feel good about their field goal chances from the 29, but they'd love to convert this third and short. Got it in the middle. It's Maxwell. Just outside the red zone. If they pick up the first down, they'll spot it at the 22. Washington State has it all working right now. Coming out on first down with the play fake. He'll take a shot. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. After missing the connection last time, it's second and 10 from the 22. To the ground with the back. They almost got first down there. Stop the yard short. It'll be third down. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. And he can't grab the bullet pass on third down. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. Absolutely perfect. And the field goal is good. They get three on the board, but it really doesn't matter much in terms of the deficit. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Guys, we're about to get another look at this San Diego State offense. He'll do it himself. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. After trying the running game on first down, they come to the line on second down. Looking to throw, it's Duffy. Takes a hit as he fires. On target. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. A new set of downs after the completion. The RPO, fire complete to the left. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Here's the handoff. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Here on third down for this offense. That'll do it for the quarter, guys, and San Diego State is on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Coming after it. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. The defense has been so dominant up front. You've seen it in these passing situations. That now the seventh sack of the game. The Aztecs will call on their punt team. Looking for a block, it's Hills. And he's gonna get it up to about the 29 yard line before he's brought down. Washington State has it back and they'll send the offense onto the field. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. 
Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step two here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. They're bringing heat. And the defense gets to the quarterback. I know this defense came into this game hoping to get pressure on the quarterback, but I don't know in their wildest dreams if they ever thought it was going to look this good. I lost track at five sacks. They have been all over this quarterback today. Second down now after the sack. Looking for a man. It's Mateer. Looking left. Got a wide open receiver. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. You know, as the head coach of this team, this is one positive you're going to take away from this game is that your players don't quit and they're still willing to fight. There's obviously a lot of things they've got to iron out offensively, and we've seen that today. But I do love the grit they're showing here late, still trying to make plays. This defense might be reeling after those last two and now facing first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Washington State. Once the game reaches this point, you start thinking ahead and how you can find something positive to take into the next game. Dang right. Keep the offense rolling. Try to find some plays that I can use throughout this season that I can have some more success or... I guess have success. I haven't had a lot of success today, but I'm looking for the future. On to attempt the try. Right down the middle. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. Colorado is currently trailing in this one. But I've seen crazier things at Folsom Field. Trust me when I tell you that. I guess what I'm saying is a comeback could be in the cards. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Cincinnati. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Followed that blocking and got five out to the 26. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. He'll pull three. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. And the Aztecs will send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Running it back. It's Hills. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. They'll throw it on first down. Not quite in rhythm there, incomplete. After misfiring, it's second down. Back to throw, it's Mateer. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. For the third straight play, the pass falls incomplete. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Now he's going to send this one deep to the right. And it's swatted away. It's a turnover on downs. Guys, let's see what adjustments this San Diego State offense has made this time. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. All the way down at the 33-yard line, it's first and 10. 
They'll run it from the gun. They finally make the stop, but the big That's run is plenty right. to move those sticks for the first down. The Aztecs come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Moore goes ahead. He's down at the 18 after picking up five. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. And the Aztecs will try to put one on the board on first and goal. Got him looking run. He wants to throw. Snags it. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. Now on second and goal. The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Cutting it close now with third and goal upcoming. Back to throw. It's Duffy. Pocket starts to collapse. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. The pocket broke down, and the quarterback had to take the sack. Really impressed by this pass rush, Reese. Just guys winning their individual battles one-on-one -on -one up front. They're able to get to the quarterback. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. It is perfect. And that'll add three more to a lead that is already way out of hand. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Wazoo offense onto the field again. We'll see if that failed fourth down in their own end last time, David, sort of curbed some of the aggressiveness. Well, you hear about it all the time in football. Go for it. Be aggressive. The problem is when you get stopped, sometimes it puts you in a hole. And Jesse, now the offense has to come out and respond. They were real disappointed not getting that first down. You could see it on the sideline. So let's just see if that's kind of galvanized them a little bit here to go make a statement and get some points. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. Comes out throwing on first down. A strike downfield. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The aerial assault continues. With the catch, it's Freeman. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Picks up 15 yards on the play and an important first down. He's going to pass. He looks that one in nicely. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. That last completion has him set up second and short. Looking for a man. It's Mateer. Getting some heat. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Man, those are backbreakers. Defensively, you get so excited. You force the fumble. I'm going to get a turnover. And the offense falls. The offense fortunate to still have the ball, but also facing a big third down. Pressure coming. Trying to escape and get it himself. And he couldn't find quite enough running room to reach the line to gain. Not a lot of drama in this one as they just get punched in the face and lose by double figures. Not a lot of drama, but there is a lot to fix on offense, on defense, on special teams. This team, David, they've got a lot to figure out. Yeah, but you know what, Jesse? The coaches are going to be in a great mood. The bus rides, the plane rides, those will all be real fun. Practice this week? It's going to be a blast.
That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollack, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.